Hi boys and girls, this is 10 Minute Preschool and I'm Mrs. S. Today, we're gonna be wild. Are you ready? Let's go. Hi girls and boys, I'm so excited to have fun today. Are you ready to be a little bit wild? But first let's do our welcome song. Are you ready? Let's take a deep breath first. Ready? <sighs> okay. Hello, preschool friends. How are you? Good, good. Hello, preschool friends. How are you? Good, good. It is time to start our day. We are here to learn and play. Hello, preschool friends. How are you? Good, good. Today we're going to read one of my favorite books in the whole world. It's called Where the Wild Things Are. It was written and illustrated by Maurice Sendak. Are you ready to be a good listener? Where the wild things are. I wonder what this is gonna be about. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind, and another, his mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day and in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all and made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. So it looks like they're swinging through the trees and having a parade. They look, they look sleepy, right? Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. Did you like that book, boys and girls? I love this book. 
Do you ever feel a little bit wild like Max? I know I do. When I'm feeling a little bit wild, sometimes I need ways to calm myself down. So here are some ways that I can show you how to calm down when you're feeling a little bit wild. Are you ready? First, you can push a wall. Push a wall? That sounds so silly, Mrs. S. Well, you know what, sometimes it helps. So just go up against a wall and push it away as hard as you can. And maybe it'll help you feel better. Another thing you could do is, there's this fun thing that you could do if you have a grown up helping you. It's called the wheelbarrow. You get on your hands and knees and your grown up holds your feet and you walk your hands forward. And sometimes that can help you feel better when you're feeling wild. And the last thing that I want to show you when you're feeling a little bit wild is the silly thing that we like to do in our house. We like to roll up our kids so they're like a burrito inside of a blanket. So ask your grown-up to roll you tight into a blanket so you're just like a burrito. And sometimes that feels really good and can calm you down when you're feeling a little wild. Now I want to show you a very quick art project that you can do at home. When Max was the king of all the wild things, he had a crown on his head. I'm going to show you how to make a crown out of a paper plate. Are you ready? So, first you just need a very plain paper plate and something to draw on it. I took a pencil and I drew one, two, three, four. Four lines on there. And if you can cut, you can cut across those lines or ask your grown-up to help you cut them. So you just cut each line, one, two, three, four, and look what happens. You bend up those triangles and it makes a crown. Now you can decorate this crown however you want to. You can draw on it with crayons or markers, you can paint it, you could put stickers on it or jewels. However you want to make your crown, you can do that. Isn't that a fun activity? Thank you so much for being such good listeners to the story today. And I hope that you enjoy making a crown. And I hope you enjoy some of the activities that I showed you how you can feel a little bit more calm when you're feeling a little wild. If you want to show me a picture of your crown, your mom and dad or your grown up can find me on Instagram at just another preschool teacher. I'd love to see what you make. And now, let's get Tucker and sing our goodbye song. Hi, Tucker. Are you ready? Mm hmm. Good. Bye bye, see you again. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye, see you again. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye, boys and girls. I can't wait until you join us next time.